welcome to the vlog. It is Sunday. I am so excited. I have so much energy, probably from my <laughs> pre-workout right now. I have so much stuff planned. Yesterday, I just got a lot of work done, so I didn't do a lot of like productive house stuff. So today, I'm excited to be doing a lot of productive house stuff. But in case you guys missed the last vlog, I literally just finished doing an entire haul of so many new things that I just got sent to me. I'm so excited about all of them. I got a ton of Alani new protein snacks here, which are so good. Cal and I tried one on camera, and it is to die for. I just opened up a bunch of new bands from my queen, Susie B Fitness. If you guys have never tried her resistance bands before, they are literally the best. I'm about to take all these tags off and add them all to our collection. I have some gym updates that I want to show you guys. I'm gonna get a workout in. I have some things I need to add to the gym. I have a bunch of house stuff I need to get done today. So it's going to be a full day, but I'm gonna take you along. So let's go to the gym and I'll show you guys what's going on. Oh my God, you guys, I am so excited. Okay, these are our gym advances so far. So these are the bands that I just showed you this morning. I have to add them to my collection over here. Today, I'm gonna tackle the gym and get a bunch of stuff done. So as you can see, we have all the equipment over here, which I've actually made a really fun circuit which implements pretty much everything here so I will do that for you guys one day if you guys want to see a whole like workout with me video let me know I'm thinking of doing one like in real time like just filming it filming all my mistakes and everything so you guys can like follow along with me okay so here are my bands that I have already I have some from Grace Fit UK who is awesome I have some from Amazon from four core fitness I tried to find these so I could link them for you guys but I can't find them anymore I don't know if they don't sell them or whatever I know a lot of homework Workout stuff has been selling out since everything going on so I did link some on my Amazon shop for you guys that are different but still just as good but these are awesome I like them because they are a little thinner so you're able to kind of move a little bit better and then I have all my Susie B fitness ones here I've got one long band oh here it is my marble long band we've got all my new ones now so I've got to organize all of this also Susie hooked it up with her friend who owns core home fitness and they sent me these awesome dumbbells which I am so excited about so thank you so much to Susie and Core Home Fitness. Like, I am so excited. So these are really cool. They're adjustable dumbbells. I set them up yesterday. Basically, you can go anywhere from five pounds. When you lift it up, it's just that single dumbbell all the way up to 50. So as you can see, if you do 10, then it adds on some weight like this, and then you can put them right back. Then you can go up to 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 45, and then 50 has all of them. So these are so cool and so awesome. I'm so excited. Thank you so much to them. Also over here, I've been working on a little DIY project. So my friend, Hayley, who's also my graphic designer is so sweet I reached out to her and I was like can you make a cute graphic because I want to put a frame above my resistance bands holders resistance band holders <laughs> and I said can you make it say grow your peach and I want to frame it I just got this frame off Amazon for like 20 bucks and I'm gonna blow it up so I blew it up on Vista print and then had them ship it and you guys this is so cute Haley is so sweet and she said this is my housewarming gift which was so nice of her I have to send her pictures of this when it's all hung up but I'm gonna frame this and then I'm gonna I'm gonna put it over there under the light just because there's like empty wall space over there and then I'm gonna hang it up with command strips and then I got two of these little rack holders from Amazon and these are great because you can hold different things like yoga mats foam rollers and things like that and then the bottom can hold all the resistance bands so it's gonna be so cute that's gonna be the project I work on right now so let's put the picture into the frame We've called in the tall reinforcements because I'm gonna put those bands on, honestly higher than that. Oh, we've got a leveler, we're being professional. Oh my God, it's so cute. I just realized, you guys, when I opened up the package, I used my exacto knife and accidentally cut like a little scratch going across, but that's okay. We're gonna keep her, we're not gonna waste it. It looks so good. I love it, okay. All right, we used our tape measure. It looks great. Boom. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> okay guys, I set it all up. How cute is this? We've got the little section with the frame and then the little holders underneath. On top I have my weight belt and then my little small foam roller that's got the little like ridges on it. I've got my big foam roller and then I organized it by long bands. We got Susie's bands, we got my Amazon bands, and then we got the Grace Fit UK bands. So cute, I am obsessed. 
All right, now I need to actually get to my workout, so I'm gonna do that, and I'll see you guys after. All right, guys, I thought I'd show you some of my workouts. So, I just finished doing about 20 minutes of lift, which is low intensity, steady state. I basically go at three miles per hour at a 15% incline. Did that for, again, 20 minutes. Now I'm gonna implement, let me turn off this fan. So, I finished the lift, now I'm going to implement some HIT, which is high intensity interval training. Basically, when I do HIT, I run at zero incline, but then I speed it up between like nine and nine and a half miles per hour and I oh no it's going it's going it's going <laughs> and then I run for 30 seconds on 30 seconds off for about 10 minutes or so so in total I'm running for five minutes taking quick little breaks it gets a hurry up but I can't go for very long so that's what I'm gonna do I thought I would just share my routine with you guys today we'll do the hit now I'll record it it's gonna look funny with me running sped up but it makes you so tired and I really like mixing lists and hit because I get really bored of lists so here we go also it's a hot day and I'm working out and a sweatshirt so I can sweat extra today. My trainer always works out in like a full, not a sweatsuit, but like, you know, like under armor, like those like tight clothes underneath and he loves it. So it keeps me extra warm. I'm sweating a lot. I feel good. All right, we're back post-workout. Cal's best friend is doing a lo-fi festival show via, is this Twitch stream? Mm -hmm. Via Twitch, which is so cool. So we're watching that. We just made some lunch. I've got some raspberries and then some little avocado toasts on the little mini Dave's Killer Breads. Everything but the bagel seasoning. Oh, I need my sriracha. <laughs> it's always the same. I'm so annoying, but we got all this. I washed these in the Trader Joe's fruit wash, which is so good. And yeah, we're having lunch. We got a sandy and a white claw. Hi guys. Okay, it is lunch. Later, I showered, I'm letting my hair air dry, it feels so good. I've been just living in big band tees lately and it's been very comfortable. I put on denim shorts today and I was like, why? <laughs> I just got off FaceTime with a friend who I haven't talked to in a little while. It was so good to catch up with them. We were on FaceTime for like 45 minutes. So we are good and I'm so happy. I hung up and my serotonin levels were like through the roof. I was like, ah, I missed them. Okay. Oh my God, I'm so obnoxious. <laughs> Anyways, now it's midday. I'm getting a little tired. Y'all know what time it is. Matcha latte time, which I did not leave very much room for milk at all. That's all she's getting today. Oh, I love this like beautiful tie dye that happens when you put the milk in. She's gorgeous. All right, this is my little midday pick me up and I think I'm filling a snack. Should I? Nah, I'm not hungry yet. <laughs> That's the question of quarantine. Am I hungry or am I just bored? The answer for right now, bored. All right guys, do you like this map that I have? It says, it's always happy hour here. You stay there. <laughs> Moving on with the day, we are doing some DIY projects. So, also I put my little high key mixes on the corners to hold the uh, plastic wrap down. So thank you to high key for my delicious treats and also plastic wrap weights. All right, so we got our spray paint and we're working on a few different projects here. I am spray painting these little hinges. They go to these marble shelves and I think the black will look way better with the marble. So I'm doing that. Also, this is a laundry pan. So you put this under the washer and it catches any sort of like extra liquid. But I got a black washing machine. So I want this to be black so it blends in better. Did the first coat a few weeks ago. And now I'm finally doing the second coat. The bottom obviously doesn't matter because that's going to be on the floor. And then Cal is doing this, which I have to give a shout out to Sierra Furtado. I saw this on her vlog and then I wanted to do it. Basically, it's like giant Jenga, which I have I've made this before in a DIY video, you guys. Insert Miss Remy Ashton DIY here. Okay guys, so we are gonna start off with this adorable game that I found on Pinterest, and this is Giant Jenga. That's seriously it. Just wait for your wood to dry completely. Sorry for the saturation that probably hurt your eyes. But I bought this set online because obviously I can't go to Home Depot right now to get my wood cut perfectly for me. So I got this off Amazon, it's super cool. And we're gonna spray paint them black and white and then write fun little things on them and make it into a drinking game. Woo! Ooh. All right, we're gonna get to spray painting and I'll keep you updated.
All right, guys, looks good so far. We got the table, we got the washing pan, we got the white Jenga. We gotta let those dry, flip them over, finish them, and then do the black pieces of Jenga. My little shelvy things. Oh, just kidding. They need a little more work and the paint stuck to here. Oh no. All right, I gotta figure these out. But other than that, pretty good. You guys, my hand is legit cramping from holding the spray paint. I don't know why I didn't think of doing this earlier and I used to call myself a DIYer. These are drying. They're definitely gonna need another coat. Those are gonna need another coat. That's gonna need another coat, but not bad for now. Time to clean off all this Paint, ew. Hey girl, I went outside for seriously maybe like 45 minutes and she's freaking out, she's so excited. Time for a snack, I'm gonna have this Perfect Bar, kids bar. I love Perfect Bars, they're so good, but sometimes like the full size one can be a little much. So I found these kids bars and they're like half the size and a nice little snack size. So yeah, having this, chilling with my pup, gonna lay on the couch and watch some TikTok. What else is new, woo, yep. She's ready. She said, get the TikTok ready, mom. So this is how my matcha usually goes. I drink like a third of it, forget. Drink a little more, forget. The whole thing dilutes, I forget. But don't worry, I still finish it. Also guys, I'm laughing so hard. It's been like an hour and it's time for me to have another snack because I'm hungry. I <laughs> opened this avocado. I was robbed. First of all, it's so cute and tiny. And I open it up. Look how big this seed is and look how little avocado you get in here. That is so funny. So I was going to have half, but now I'm going to have a full avocado, which is probably still going to be equivalent to less than what have normally been half. I'm going to have some pineapple and then I'm going to finish up this chicken breast. Just going to wrap the avocado in the chicken breast, put a little sriracha, a little everything but the bagel per use, and that's going to be the snack. And then I'm going to go clean my closet because I've been putting that off for weeks. Yay. Fun. Susan and I are having our happy hour. Say hi. Cheers. Aww. Hold on, wait, it's not focusing. There we go. Cheers, Queen. Cheers. Happy sangria day. Is it actually sangria day? Mm-hmm. Oh. Dad made it. Ooh, I've got my diluted matcha. Yes. I made this like six hours ago. Hi guys. Okay, it is later. I just hey Queen. What's good? Just edited a vlog, threw my hair back in this little baby ponytail. Also, I was going to make stuffed cabbage for dinner, but I am far too lazy today to cook a whole meal. So I just postmated some dinner. So that'll be here in like an hour or so, which gives me the perfect amount of time to clean all this up. It's pretty messy in here and gross, and I need to take care of it. Also, in case you guys missed it, a few vlogs back, I did decorate this whole wall and I'm obsessed with it. It's so cute. I need to take an Instagram in this mirror. I strategically also placed all the cuter ones around here because I knew they would show. Oh, you know what? I wanted to do this. I wanted to find a few more and then cut them to fill this gap because I think it'll just flow better. So let's pick out some cute ones. I'll work on that later tonight and I also need to clean. So let me get to all this and I'll keep you updated. All right, did a light little cleaning up. The floor is clean. Everything is put away finally. Got some new stuff to put on Poshmark and now I'm gonna go clean the bathroom. All right, guys, we cleaned the whole kitchen. Cal mopped the floors, did a great job. We got dinner just delivered. I just sanitized everything. We got this place called California Chicken Cafe, which is so good. We got a whole rotisserie chicken, a big salad. I figured we could just like share. Cal got his pasta salad that he loves and then some pita bread. That is dinner. Ooh, I'm so hungry. Look at him carrying her. Oh, she's so cute. Okay guys, so dinner's done. I was gonna make like a healthy banana bread or something and I got way too lazy to bake. So instead I'm making banana nice cream, which if you guys have never had this, it is to die for. I just have some frozen bananas in the blender. I'm gonna add a little bit of oat milk. Here we go. Feel free to add whatever kind of milk you'd like. Just gonna do a little bit to get it moving and then you blend it in a high power blender and it is so good. Here we go, let's try. Whoa. All right, let's check on it. Oh yeah, definitely it's a little more liquid. I'm gonna keep blending and I'll show you guys after. All right guys, I ended up finishing the oat milk and it is a beautiful consistency now. Here it is, it is beautiful and creamy. Literally just bananas and some milk. You can also use water if you like, but the milk makes it a little better. These bananas are super frozen, so they are a little hard to blend, but it looks so good. Then from there we spoon it into containers and then top it with whatever toppings you want. I will show you. All right, I spooned it into the bowls. Then from there you can top it 
with whatever you want. This is some Hershey's syrup for Cal. He's big on chocolate syrup, so we'll do some of that. And then we can also do some chocolate chips. I'm gonna use these ones from Lily's. They're no sugar added, they're vegan, they're so good. I am such a sucker for chocolate, dark chocolate especially, and banana. Add some on there too, maybe a little more on mine, because I love it. And then for mine, stay with me people. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of matcha powder on mine because I love matcha, banana, and chocolate together. So, I'm just gonna sprinkle mine on the top. Def don't want too much. Yours is good on the left, babe, you can take it. All right, yoink. There we go, matcha, ooh, so excited. All right guys, there is a really easy, like what, two ingredient dessert that is super healthy and delish. Thoughts? Good. Better than Ben and Jerry's? <laughs> Don't answer that. <laughs> Hi guys, happy Monday. I just finished my morning workout and I finally started doing a live by my friend Whitney Simmons today. You guys, it was killer. It was a leg day. The app is seriously so good. So I did a live 1.0. There's also other workouts on here. There's a live, there is a live strong, which I think is a little bit harder. And then there's a live inside, which is perfect if you guys are home and you wanna work out at home. I will say a live was really great, but there were a few things that I wasn't able to do because you need to be like at an actual gym or have a lot of equipment. I have a good amount of equipment now, but definitely not everything needed for this. So I might switch to a live inside tomorrow, which obviously you can just do inside your home. You need little to no equipment, but her app is so good. I'm about to make some breakfast. I'm finishing up a main channel video right now where I'm doing some healthy recipes for like breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. But yeah. I'm gonna get to making brekkie and I'll see you soon. Hi guys, okay, it is much later. We've been doing a bunch of work stuff all day, but I just made myself a salad. This is totally inspired by Molly Bailey. I love her vlog so much and she made a barbecue chicken salad the other day and it reminded me of the one that I used to get at California Pizza Kitchen and it's so good. So I recreated it at home. I have romaine lettuce on the bottom. I like making my own salads at home too because I can chop my lettuce how I want. I like my romaine to be super thin. So I did that, added on some leftover rotisserie chicken from last night. Red onion, cherry tomatoes, avocado, a little bit of canned corn, which I haven't had corn in forever and I'm so excited. Salt and pepper, and then I have this light ranch that I've had for a while in the fridge, so I have that. And then for the barbecue, I have this Primal Kitchen classic barbecue sauce. So I'm gonna do a little bit of both, not too much. We're having lunch super late. It's like almost, it's past four now, geez. We've just been super busy, but this looks so good and I am so hungry. Hello guys, I'm back, it's later. I've had an emotional evening but I've decided to pick up the vlog because we're feeling better, yay! Cal held me while I was crying, I feel fine now. So for dinner tonight, we're going to be making fish tacos, which I am very excited about. This is everything we're going to use. We're gonna make a bunch of fun little things. I've got some avocados to make guacamole. I have the leftover corn to make a nice corn salsa. I guess it's kinda like, Chipotle inspired. Then we have these vegetables, which are from Trader Joe's. They're frozen. They're the fire roasted bell peppers and onions, brown rice. We have cabbage to make a slaw. We have cheese. These are the tortillas we're gonna use. They're from Siete. They're a cassava flour, cassava? Cassava flour tortilla. Thank you. <laughs> Try not to slap them. I'm only poking. <laughs> these are grain free and they're really, really, really good. We got limes to put into the corn salsa and into the guacamole. Did I say we have corn already? We have corn. We have little cherry tomatoes. We have salsa. This is the only salsa we have. It is a Trader Joe's peach salsa, which I think will still be good. We have red onion to put into the guac and put into the corn. And then for fish, we are using these right here, which are frozen. Now they're thawed. And these are tilapia? Yes. Yes, tilapia. We're gonna do grilled fish tacos. They're a little healthier but this is everything we're gonna use for our tacos tonight. Okay guys, I just pat dry the fish. I didn't realize how thick these were, so instead of using three, I'm only using two packs. For seasoning, we're going to do garlic salt. So we're gonna season both sides. We're gonna do pepper, cayenne to add some spiciness and some color, garlic powder, of course, and then Mexican seasoning, and here there is chilies, garlic, and onion. So all this on top. Make sure they're well seasoned because this fish is kind of bland. <laughs> Pat it in, flip it over, and then repeat the steps. But I need to wash my hands now that I just touched the fish, gross. I've got my onions and bell peppers already cooking here. Can I turn the light on? Sure, oh good job, wow, okay. Now we're gonna spray the back pan with some oil and gently place our fish in. I've also never made these before, so hopefully they turn out okay. Here's the bird's eye. Everybody loves the bird's eye. People also said it was scary, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Cal is on 
tortilla duty. We got the fish over there. We've got some chips. These are the Siete grain-free tortilla chips. They're so good. I chopped up the cabbage. We have the guac. We have the corn salsa. We've got the fajita veggies, the salsa, and the cheese. Obviously, also, with it being taco night, what do we need? Mars. So Cal is a tequila drinker, I am not, but in the spirit of tonight. All right, so I figured I'd make us some margaritas. I'm gonna do a frozen mango margarita because we have frozen mango, so let's see how this goes. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. Please do not come for me if I get this wrong. Again, as I said, I'm not really a marg drinker, but we're going to improvise. So I'm gonna start, my skin looks fantastic right now. Holy mother. These are frozen mango chunks from Trader Joe's. They are so good. If you just let them thaw and eat them as like ice cream, it tastes so good, but also they go great in an alcoholic beverage. We're gonna start with mango. That was a lot. Hold on, let me pour some back. <laughs> too One much shot ma mango. Want two shots of mango. We add in the tequila. Two sh I, should I measure this? Nah, it's fine. Two shots of tequila. I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna add in a couple squeezes of lime juice. I'm gonna add a splash of this. We got this at the grocery store. It is margarita mix. I don't know, Cal got this. It's no sugar added. Just a splash of this for a little extra flavor. Now we screw on the cap. Now you can't have a marg without, well you can't have a marg without salt on the rim. I actually don't like salt in my rim, but for the theatrics today, we're gonna do it. We got a small plate with a wet paper towel and then another plate, or I guess rather I should do a bowl. And you're gonna put salt in the bottom of the bowl. You don't need a ton, so don't waste a ton of it. Now we're going to take our glass and put it on the paper towel so the rim gets wet. Then you're gonna dunk it into the salt, swish it around, and boom! You got a salt rimmed glass. Really stick her in there, you know, let her get sticky. We're gonna spoon, this is like the best consistency I've ever seen. Spoon it into our glasses. I'll give you a full one and I'll take whatever's left because I'm not <laughs> No, please don't. I don't really full. want any. There's our frozen marks. Last but not least, you need a garnish. We're gonna take a lime and then you just put a little slice down it and then boom! Beautiful. All right, here is the dinner. We're so hungry. We got the Margs. I got iced tea. This sauce is to die for. It's the Siete. This is a Siete dinner. Habanero sauce. Oh my gosh, it's so, so good. Got all the fixins. Got rice, tacos, chips, the whole nine yards. The whole shebang. Hi guys, it is the next day. I am just coming on to end the vlog. Just made myself some breakfast. It's pretty much the usual, and I just tried a new yogurt. I don't know if this is exciting at all, but I'm gonna show you. So here's our breakfast. I made a little small slice of avocado toast with an egg, sriracha, everything but the bagel. And then I'm trying this lava yogurt with strawberries. It's really sour, so I don't know. It's not expired. I don't know if I got a bad one or if it's supposed to taste like that. So I just put some stevia in, topped it with some strawberries. This is breakfast. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the vlog. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.